Welcome to Flipped Classroom. Today's lesson is about the annotated bibliography. The purpose of an annotated bibliography is to present all the resources you plan on using in your essay prior to writing the actual essay. So you are letting your audience know that you've completed all your research before presenting the final product. Here's an analogy. If you were creating a medication to treat anxiety, you would have to do all your research first before you were able to produce the medication. It is similar with writing. You need to do all your research prior to creating the actual essay. The annotated bibliography demonstrates you have completed your research. I've provided you two resources to learn more about how to create an annotated bibliography. Let's start with the MLA 8 format handout. If you go to page 8, if you turn to page 8, you will see the description that points out an annotated bibliography is very much like a works cited page. The only difference is, after the citation information, you include a summary and an evaluation. Let's take a look at this example. It begins with the citation information. Following the citation is the summary. In this TED Talk, Dr. Slimer discusses the way in which trees are biologically interconnected and how they share information about things like soil nutrients, water availability, and more. You go on to evaluate the source. You let your readers know how useful the source is and why the information is reliable. Let's take a look at this sample. You can see here that it begins with the citation information. There's an author, there's the article title, the, the newspaper, volume, number, date, the database it was located in, and the URL. It follows with a summary of the author's main points. It goes on to describe why the source is reliable and how the source is going to be useful in this specific paper. You will notice that it is organized just like a works cited page. It is alphabetical and it has the reverse indent. One benefit of doing the annotated bibliography is you've already completed your work cited page. An annotated bibliography is a separate assignment from the work cited page. A work cited page goes at the end of your essay. The annotated bibliography does not go at the end of your essay. It is submitted separately. To transform your annotated bibliography into a works cited page, all you need to do is change the title from annotated bibliography to works cited and delete the sentences. Now you have a works cited page that go that is attached to the end of your essay. Let's return to the instructions. So as you can see here, the annotated bibliography has three sections. It begins with the citation information. It describes in one to three sentences how the source is credible and another one to three sentence why the source is valuable. If you have questions on this, the librarians are very helpful and can give you advice. Best of luck on your annotated bibliography. Thank you for joining me today in Flip Classroom.